Each year in April, the Council of Islamic Organizations of Greater Chicago organize IMED. Muslim of all ages travel to Springfield to discuss, highlight, and lobby for policies and legislation that affect all people, including the Muslim community here in the state of Illinois. Several lawmakers, including Governor Pat Quinn, was on hand as he opened up the event at the governor's mansion. I think it's important that the people be heard. And so today, as you go across the street there to our state capitol and work on uh, the bills that were outlined by doctor, I think that's a very, very important that we uh, have your voice as part of the democracy of Illinois. Now, I was very fortunate to be part of this year's IMAT event, documenting the event as it happened. And I had the wonderful opportunity to get an inside look to see how the Muslim community interact with lawmakers. It's really a beautiful thing. Take a look. The first one is about supporting the, the budget item about uh, immigrant service, services that is in the budget. It's $6.7 million. Okay. The second one is about uh, a new concept or a new legislation about limiting the use of drones okay. without warrant and surveillance. The third uh, issue would be to uh, recognize uh, Middle Eastern people uh, as a minority, uh, similar to the uh, African American, Latino, and Asian, uh, Asian uh, communities. So, okay. as you know, that will open a lot of economic and education uh, okay. opportunities yeah. to that. And the fourth item is to um, uh, youth, youth, youth employment. employment. Yeah, okay. support youth employment to prevent uh, violence in inner cities. So, these are the four uh, four legislations okay. that we're supporting. Can I have this? Please. Yes. All right. Well, Can we count on you uh, discuss, uh, reviewing these issues and maybe supporting them? I definitely. Let me look at them. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Definitely. And um, let us, Sarah and I will go over them, and uh, we want to work with you where we can, where we have, like we have in the past.